The Canary Islands, also known informally as the Canaries, are a Spanish archipelago in the Atlantic Ocean, in a region known as Macaronesia. At their closest point to the African mainland, they are 100 kilometers west of Morocco. They are the southernmost of the autonomous communities of Spain, and are located in the African tectonic plate. The archipelago is economically and politically European having been colonized by Spain, and is part of the European Union. The eight main islands are Tenerife, Fuerteventura, Gran Canaria, Lanzarote, La Palma, La Gomera, El Hierro, and La Graciosa. The archipelago includes many smaller islands and islets, including Alagranza, Isla de Lobos, Montaña Clara, Roque del Oeste, and Roque del Este. It also includes a number of rocks, including those of Samar, Fasnia, Bonanza, Garachico, and Anaga. In ancient times, the island chain was often referred to as the Fortunate Isles. The Canary Islands are the southernmost region of Spain, and the largest and most populous archipelago of Macaronesia. Because of their location, the Canary Islands have historically been considered a bridge between the four continents of Africa, North America, South America, and Europe. In 2019, the Canary Islands had a population of 2,153,389, with a density of 287.39 inhabitants per square kilometer, making it the eighth most populous autonomous community of Spain. The population is mostly concentrated in the two capital islands, around 43% on the island of Tenerife and 40% on the island of Gran Canaria. The indigenous Berber populations have been largely wiped out through the Spanish colonization, although their DNA remains in the Canary Island population today. The Canary Islands, especially Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, and Lanzarote, are a major tourist destination, with over 12 million visitors per year. This is due to their beaches, tropical to subtropical climate, and important natural attractions, especially Maspalomas in Gran Canaria, Teed National Park, and Mount Teed in Tenerife. Mount Teed is the highest peak in Spain and the third tallest volcano in the world, measured from its base on the ocean floor. The islands have warm summers and winters warm enough for the climate to be technically tropical at sea level. The amount of precipitation and the level of maritime moderation vary depending on location and elevation. The archipelago includes green areas as well as desert areas. The island's high mountains are ideal for astronomical observation, because they lie above the temperature inversion layer. As a result, the archipelago boasts two professional observatories, Tite Observatory on the island of Tenerife, and Roque de los Muchachos Observatory on the island of La Palma. In 1927, the province of Canary Islands was split into two provinces. In 1982, the Autonomous Community of the Canary Islands was established. The cities of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and Las Palmas de Gran Canaria are, jointly, the capital of the islands. Those cities are also, respectively, the capitals of the provinces of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and Las Palmas. Las Palmas de Gran Canaria has been the largest city in the Canaries since 1768, except for a brief period in the 1910s. Between the 1833 Territorial Division of Spain and 1927, Santa Cruz de Tenerife was the sole capital of the Canary Islands. In 1927, it was ordered by decree that the capital of the Canary Islands would be shared between two cities, and this arrangement persists to the present day. The third largest city in the Canary Islands is San Cristobal de la Laguna on Tenerife. This city is also home to the Consejo Consultivo de Canarias, which is the supreme consultative body of the Canary Islands. During the Age of Sail, the Canaries were the main stopover for Spanish galleons on their way to the Americas, which sailed that far south in order to catch the prevailing northeasterly trade winds. The name Islas Canarias is likely derived from the Latin name Canaria Insulae, meaning Islands of the Dogs, a name that was evidently generalized from the ancient name of one of these islands, Canaria, presumably Gran Canaria. According to the historian Pliny the Elder, the island Canaria contained vast multitudes of dogs of very large size. Other theories speculate that the name comes from the new Kari Berber tribe living in the Moroccan Atlas, named in Roman sources as Canaria, though Pliny again mentions the relation of this term with dogs. The connection to dogs is retained in their depiction on the island's coat of arms. It is considered that the aborigines of Gran Canaria called themselves Canarias. It is possible that after being conquered, this name was used in plural in Spanish, I. E. As to refer to all of the islands as the Canaria as. The name of the islands is not derived from the canary bird, rather, the birds are named after the islands. 
Map of the Canary Islands Acha Grande, a mountain in the south of Lanzarote, viewed from the road to the Playa de Papagayo. Panoramic view of Gran Canaria, with Roque Nublo at the left and Roque Ventega at the center Tenerife is the largest and most populous island of the archipelago. Gran Canaria, with 865,070 inhabitants, is both the Canary Islands' second most populous island, and the third most populous one in Spain after Tenerife and Mallorca. The island of Fuerteventura is the second largest in the archipelago and located 100 kilometers from the African coast. The islands form the Macaronesia ecoregion with the Azores, Cape Verde, Madeira, and the Savage Isles. The Canary Islands is the largest and most populated archipelago of the Macaronesia region. The archipelago consists of seven large and several smaller islands, all of which are volcanic in origin. The antipodes of the Canary Islands are found in the Pacific Ocean, between New Zealand, New Caledonia, Australia and the ocean. According to the position of the islands with respect to the northeast trade winds, the climate can be mild and wet or very dry. Several native species form lower silva forests. As a consequence, the individual islands in the Canary Archipelago tend to have distinct microclimates. Those islands such as El Hierro, La Palma and La Gomera lying to the west of the archipelago have a climate which is influenced by the moist Canary Current. They are well vegetated even at low levels and have extensive tracts of subtropical Laura Silva forest. As one travels east toward the African coast, the influence of the current diminishes, and the islands become increasingly arid. Fuerteventura and Lanzarote, the islands which are closest to the African mainland, are effectively desert or semi-desert. Gran Canaria is known as a continent in miniature for its diverse landscapes like Maspalomas and Roque Nublo. In terms of its climate Tenerife is particularly interesting. The north of the island lies under the influence of the moist Atlantic winds and is well vegetated, while the south of the island around the tourist resorts of Playa de las Americas and Los Cristianos is arid. The island rises to almost 4,000 meters above sea level, and at altitude, in the cool relatively wet climate, forests of the endemic pine Pinus canariensis thrive. Many of the plant species in the Canary Islands, like the Canary Island pine and the dragon tree, Dracaena draco are endemic, as noted by Sabine Bertolo and Philip Barker Webb in their work, L'Histoire Naturelle des Îles Canaries. The climate is subtropical and generally semi-desertic, moderated by the sea and in summer by the trade winds. There are a number of microclimates and the classifications range mainly from semi-arid to desert. According to the Köppen climate classification, the majority of the Canary Islands have a hot desert climate represented as BWH, caused partly due to the cool Canary Current. There also exists a subtropical humid climate which is very influenced by the ocean in the middle of the islands of La Gomera, Tenerife, and La Palma, where Laura Silva cloud forests grow. The seven major islands, one minor island, and several small islets were originally volcanic islands, formed by the Canary Hotspot. The Canary Islands is the only place in Spain where volcanic eruptions have been recorded during the modern era, with some volcanoes still active. Volcanic islands such as those in the Canary Chain often have steep ocean cliffs caused by catastrophic debris avalanches and landslides. The island chain's most recent eruption occurred at Cumbre Vieja, a volcanic ridge on La Palma, in 2021. The Teed Volcano on Tenerife is the highest mountain in Spain, and the third tallest volcano on Earth on a volcanic ocean island. All the islands except La Gomera have been active in the last million years, four of them have historical records of eruptions since European discovery. The islands rise from Jurassic Oceanic crust associated with the opening of the Atlantic. Underwater magmatism commenced during the Cretaceous, and continued to the present day. The current islands reach the ocean surface during the Miocene. The islands were once considered as a distinct physiographic section of the Atlas Mountains province, which in turn is part of the larger African Alpine System division, but are nowadays recognized as being related to a magmatic hot spot. In the summer of 2011 a series of low-magnitude earthquakes occurred beneath El Euro. These had a linear trend of northeast-southwest. In October a submarine eruption occurred about 2 kilometers south of Rastinga. This eruption produced gases and pumice, but no explosive activity was reported. The following table shows the highest mountains in each of the islands. Mount Teed, the highest mountain in Spain, is also one of the most visited national parks in the world. The official natural symbols associated with Canary Islands are the bird Serinus canaria and the phoenix canariensis palm. Caldera de Taburiat National Park. Four of Spain's 13 national parks are located in the Canary Islands, more than any other autonomous community. 
Two of these have been declared UNESCO World Heritage Sites and the other two are part of Biosphere Reserves. The parks are, Teed National Park is the oldest and largest national park in the Canary Islands and one of the oldest in Spain. Located in the geographic center of the island of Tenerife, it is the most visited national park in Spain. In 2010, it became the most visited national park in Europe and second worldwide. The park's highlight is the Teed Volcano, standing at an altitude of 3,715 meters, it is the highest elevation of the country and the third largest volcano on Earth from its base. In 2007, the Teed National Park was declared one of the 12 treasures of Spain. The province of Las Palmas The province of Santa Cruz de Tenerife municipalities and the Las Palmas province municipalities and the Santa Cruz de Tenerife province the regional executive body. The Parliament of the Canary Islands is presided over by Angel Victor Torres, the current president of the Canary Islands. The latter is invested by the members of the regional legislature, the Parliament of the Canary Islands, that consists of 70 elected legislators. The last regional election took place in May 2019. The islands have 14 seats in the Spanish Senate. Of these, 11 seats are directly elected, Fuerteventura, La Palma, La Gomera and El Hierro, while the other three are appointed by the regional legislature. The autonomous community of the Canary Islands consists of two provinces, Las Palmas and Santa Cruz de Tenerife, whose capitals are capitals of the autonomous community. Each of the seven major islands is ruled by an island council named Cabildo Insular. Each island is subdivided into smaller municipalities, Las Palmas is divided into 34 municipalities, and Santa Cruz de Tenerife is divided into 54 municipalities. The international boundary of the Canaries is the subject of dispute between Spain and Morocco. Morocco's official position is that international laws regarding territorial limits do not authorize Spain to claim seabed boundaries based on the territory of the Canaries, since the Canary Islands enjoy a large degree of autonomy. In fact, the islands do not enjoy any special degree of autonomy as each one of the Spanish regions is considered an autonomous community with equal status to the European ones. Under the law of the sea, the only islands not granted territorial waters or an exclusive economic zone are those that are not fit for human habitation or do not have an economic life of their own, which is not the case of the Canary Islands. The boundary determines the ownership of seabed oil deposits and other ocean resources. Morocco and Spain have been unable to agree on a compromise regarding the territorial boundary, since neither nation wants to cede its claimed right to the vast resources whose ownership depends upon the boundary. In 2002, for example, Morocco rejected a unilateral Spanish proposal. There are some pro-independence political parties, like the National Congress of the Canaries and the Popular Front of the Canary Islands. But their popular support is almost insignificant, with no presence in either the Autonomous Parliament or the Cabildos Insulares. According to a 2012 study by the Centro de Investigaciones Sociológicas, when asked about national identity, the majority of respondents from the Canary Islands consider themselves Spanish and Canarian in equal measures. Followed by 24% who consider themselves more Canarian than Spanish. Only 6. 1% of the respondents consider themselves only Canarian while 7% consider themselves only Spanish. Guanche mummy of a woman. Museo de la Naturaleza y el Hombre, Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Before the arrival of humans, the Canaries were inhabited by prehistoric animals, for example, the giant lizard, the Tenerife and Gran Canaria giant rats, and giant prehistoric tortoises, Geocolone burchardi and Geocolone vulcanica. Although the original settlement of what are now called the Canary Islands is not entirely clear, linguistic, genetic, and archaeological analyses indicate that indigenous peoples were living on the Canary Islands at least 2,000 years ago but possibly 1,000 years or more before, and that they shared a common origin with the Berbers on the nearby North African coast. Reaching the islands may have taken place using several small boats, landing on the easternmost islands Lanzarote and Fuerteventura. These groups came to be known collectively as the Guanches, although Guanches had been the name for only the indigenous inhabitants of Tenerife. A selection of artifacts unearthed from the Lomo de los Gatos site on Gran Canaria as José Ferrugia describes, the indigenous Canarians lived mainly in natural caves, usually near the coast, 300 to 500 meters above sea level. These caves were sometimes isolated but more commonly formed settlements, with burial caves nearby. Archaeological work has uncovered a rich culture visible through artifacts of ceramics, human figures, fishing, hunting and farming tools, plant fiber clothing and vessels, as well as cave paintings. 
at Lomo de los Gatos on Gran Canaria, a site occupied from 1,600 years ago up until the 1,960s, round stone houses, complex burial sites, and associated artifacts have been found. Across the islands are thousands of Libico Berber alphabet inscriptions scattered and they have been extensively documented by many linguists. The social structure of indigenous Canarians encompassed a system of matrilineal descent in most of the islands, in which inheritance was passed on via the female line. Social status and wealth were hereditary and determined the individual's position in the social pyramid, which consisted of the king. The relatives of the king, the lower nobility, villains, plebeians, and finally executioners, butchers, embalmers, and prisoners. Their religion was animist, centering on the sun and moon, as well as natural features such as mountains. From the 14th century onward, numerous visits were made by sailors from Majorca, Portugal, and Genoa. Lancelotto Malocello settled on Lanzarote in 1312. The Majorcans established a mission with a bishop in the islands that lasted from 1350 to 1400. The islands may have been visited by the Phoenicians, the Greeks, and the Carthaginians. King Juba II, Caesar Augustus's Numidian protege, is credited with discovering the islands for the Western world. According to Pliny the Elder, Juba found the islands uninhabited, but found a small temple of stone and some traces of buildings. Juba dispatched a naval contingent to reopen the dye production facility at Mogador in what is now western Morocco in the early 1st century AD. That same naval force was subsequently sent on an exploration of the Canary Islands, using Mogador as their mission base. The names given by Romans to the individual islands were Ninguaria or Niveria, Canaria, Pluvialia or Inval, Ombrian, Planasia, Iunonia or Genonia and Capraria. Reconstruction of a Guanche settlement of Tenerife in 1402, the Castilian colonization of the islands began, with the expedition of the French explorers Jean de Betancourt and Cadifer de La Salle, nobles and vassals of Henry III of Castile, to Lanzarote. From there, they went on to conquer Fuerteventura and El Hierro. These invasions were brutal cultural and military clashes between the indigenous population and the Castilians lasting over a century due to formidable resistance by indigenous Canarians. Betancourt received the title King of the Canary Islands, but still recognized King Henry III as his overlord. It was not a simple military enterprise, given the aboriginal resistance on some islands. Neither was it politically since the particular interests of the nobility conflicted with those of the states. Particularly Castile, which were in the midst of territorial expansion and in a process of strengthening of the crown against the nobility. Alonso Fernandez de Lugo presenting the captured native Guanche kings of Tenerife to the Catholic monarch's historians distinguished two periods in the conquest of the Canary Islands, aristocratic conquest. This refers to the early conquests carried out by the nobility, for their own benefit and without the direct participation of the Crown of Castile. Which merely granted rights of conquest in exchange for pacts of vassalage between the noble conqueror and the crown. One can identify within this period an early phase known as the Betancourian or Norman Conquest, carried out by Jean de Betancourt and Gadifer de La Salle between 1402 and 1405. Which involved the islands of Lanzarote, El Hierro and Fuerteventura. The subsequent phase is known as the Castilian Conquest, carried out by Castilian nobles who acquired, through purchases, assignments and marriages, the previously conquered islands and also incorporated the island of La Gomera around 1450. Royal Conquest This defines the conquest between 1478 and 1496, carried out directly by the Crown of Castile, during the reign of the Catholic monarchs. Who armed and partly financed the conquest of those islands which were still unconquered, Gran Canaria, La Palma, and Tenerife. This phase of the conquest came to an end in the year 1496, with the dominion of the island of Tenerife, bringing the entire Canarian archipelago under the control of the crown of Castile. Casa de Colón, which Christopher Columbus visited during his first trip. Betancourt also established a base on the island of La Gomera, but it would be many years before the island was fully conquered. The natives of La Gomera, and of Gran Canaria, Tenerife, and La Palma, resisted the Castilian invaders for almost a century. In 1448 Macia de Betancourt sold the lordship of Lanzarote to Portugal's Prince Henry the Navigator, an action that was accepted by neither the natives nor the Castilians. Despite Pope Nicholas V ruling that the Canary Islands were under Portuguese control, 
The crisis swelled to a revolt which lasted until 1459 with the final expulsion of the Portuguese. In 1479, Portugal and Castile signed the Treaty of Alcasovas, which settled disputes between Castile and Portugal over the control of the Atlantic. This treaty recognized Castilian control of the Canary Islands but also confirmed Portuguese possession of the Azores, Madeira, and the Cape Verde Islands. And gave the Portuguese rights to any further islands or lands in the Atlantic that might be discovered. The Castilians continued to dominate the islands, but due to the topography and the resistance of the native Guanches, they did not achieve complete control until 1496, when Tenerife and La Palma were finally subdued by Alonso Fernandez de Lugo. As a result of this the native pre-Hispanic population declined quickly due to war, epidemics, and slavery. The Canaries were incorporated into the Kingdom of Castile. Maps of the Canary Islands drawn by William Dampier during his voyage to New Holland in 1699. Coat of arms of the Castilian and Spanish realm of Canary Islands After the conquest, the Castilians imposed a new economic model, based on single crop cultivation, first sugarcane, then wine, an important item of trade with England. In this era, the first institutions of colonial government were founded. Gran Canaria, a colony of the Crown of Castile since March 6, 1480, and Tenerife, a Spanish colony since 1496, each had its own governor. There has been speculation that the abundance of Roxella tinctoria on the Canary Islands offered a profit motive for Jean de Betancourt during his conquest of the islands. Lichen has been used for centuries to make dyes. This includes royal purple colors derived from Roxella tinctoria, also known as Orsay. Slave driving in order to sell into enforced labor the objective of the Spanish crown to convert the islands into a powerhouse of cultivation required a much larger labor force. This was attained through a brutal practice of enslavement, not only of indigenous Canarians but large numbers of Africans who were forcibly taken from North and Sub-Saharan Africa. Whilst the first slave plantations in the Atlantic region were across Madeira, Cape Verde, and the Canary Islands, it was only the Canary Islands which had an indigenous population and were therefore invaded rather than newly occupied. This agriculture industry was largely based on sugarcane and the Castilians converted large swaths of the landscape for sugarcane production, and the processing and manufacturing of sugar, facilitated by enslaved laborers. The cities of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and Las Palmas de Gran Canaria became a stopping point for the Spanish traders, as well as conquistadors, and missionaries on their way to the New World. This trade route brought great wealth to the Castilian social sectors of the islands and soon were attracting merchants and adventurers from all over Europe. As the wealth grew, enslaved African workers were also forced into demeaning domestic roles for the rich Castilians on the islands such as servants in their houses. Research on the skeletons of some of these enslaved workers from the burial site of Finca Clavijo on Gran Canaria have showed that all of the adults buried in Finca. Clavijo undertook extensive physical activity that involved significant stress on the spine and appendicular skeleton that result from relentless hard labor. Akin to the physical abnormalities found with enslaved peoples from other sugarcane plantations around the world. These findings of the physical strain that the enslaved at Finca Clavijo were subjected to in order to provide wealth for the Spanish elite has inspired a poem by British writer Ralph Hoyta, entitled Close to the Bone. The method of forcibly relocating Africans to the Canary Islands in order to provide intensive labor, the first time this had been attempted, was looked at favorably by other European powers and was the inspiration behind. The transatlantic slave trade whereby around 12 million Africans were taken from their homelands in order to enter forced labor as plantation workers and domestic servants in the Americas over a period of 400 years. As a result of the huge wealth generated by enslaved labor, magnificent palaces and churches were built on La Palma during this busy, prosperous period. The Church of El Salvador survives as one of the island's finest examples of the architecture of the 16th century. Civilian architecture survives in forms such as Casas de los Sanchez Achando or Casa Quintana. The Canaries' wealth invited attacks by pirates and privateers. Ottoman Turkish Admiral and privateer Kamal Reis ventured into the Canaries in 1501, while Murat Reis the Elder captured Lanzarote in 1585. The most severe attack took place in 1599, during the Dutch Revolt. A Dutch fleet of 74 ships and 12,000 men, commanded by Pieter van der Does, attacked the capital Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. The Dutch attacked the Castillo de la Luz, which guarded the harbor. The Canarians evacuated civilians from the city, and the Castillo surrendered. The Dutch moved inland, but Canarian cavalry drove them back to Tamarasit, near the city. 
the Dutch then laid siege to the city, demanding the surrender of all its wealth. They received twelve sheep and three calves. Furious, the Dutch sent four thousand soldiers to attack the Council of the Canaries, who were sheltering in the village of Santa Brigida. Three hundred Canarian soldiers ambushed the Dutch in the village of Manilantiscal, killing one hundred fifty and forcing the rest to retreat. The Dutch concentrated on Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, attempting to burn it down. The Dutch pillaged Maspalomas, on the southern coast of Gran Canaria, San Sebastián on La Gomera, and Santa Cruz on La Palma, but eventually gave up the siege of Las Palmas and withdrew. In 1618 the Barbary pirates from North Africa attacked Lanzarote and La Gomera taking 1,000 captives to be sold as slaves. Another noteworthy attack occurred in 1797, when Santa Cruz de Tenerife was attacked by a British fleet under Horatio Nelson on 25th of July. The British were repulsed, losing almost 400 men. It was during this battle that Nelson lost his right arm. Amaro Pargo, corsair and merchant from Tenerife who participated in the Spanish treasure fleet. The sugar-based economy of the islands faced stiff competition from Spain's Caribbean colonies. Low sugar prices in the 19th century caused severe recessions on the islands. A new cash crop, cochineal, came into cultivation during this time, reinvigorating the island's economy. During this time the Canarian-American trade was developed, in which Canarian products such as cochineal, sugarcane and rum were sold in American ports such as Veracruz, Campeche, La Guayura, and Havana, among others. By the end of the 18th century, Canary Islanders had already emigrated to Spanish-American territories, such as Havana, Veracruz, and Santo Domingo, San Antonio, Texas and St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana. These economic difficulties spurred mass emigration during the 19th and first half of the 20th century, primarily to the Americas. Between 1840 and 1890 as many as 40,000 Canary Islanders emigrated to Venezuela. Also, thousands of Canarians moved to Puerto Rico where the Spanish monarchy felt that Canarians would adapt to island life better than other immigrants from the mainland of Spain. Deeply entrenched traditions, such as the Mascaras Festival in the town of Atillo, Puerto Rico, are an example of Canarian culture still preserved in Puerto Rico. Similarly, many thousands of Canarians emigrated to the shores of Cuba. During the Spanish-American War of 1898, the Spanish fortified the islands against a possible American attack, but no such event took place. Coast El Golfo, El Hierro Serrera and Ren distinguished two different types of expeditions, or voyages, during the period 1770-1830, which they termed the Romantic Period, first are expeditions financed by the states. Closely related with the official scientific institutions. Characterized by having strict scientific objectives the spirit of illustration and progress. In this type of expedition, Serrera and Wren include the following travelers. The second type of expedition identified by Serrera and Wren is one that took place starting from more or less private initiatives. Among these, the key exponents were the following, Serrera and Wren identify the period 1770-1830 as one in which in a panorama dominated until that moment by France and England enters with strength and brio Germany of the Romantic period whose presence in the islands will increase. The Port of Las Palmas in 1912. At the beginning of the 20th century, the British introduced a new cash crop, the banana, the export of which was controlled by companies such as Fife's. November 30, 1833 The province of Canary Islands had been created with the capital being declared as Santa Cruz de Tenerife. The rivalry between the cities of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria and Santa Cruz de Tenerife for the capital of the islands led to the division of the archipelago into two provinces on September 23, 1927. During the time of the Second Spanish Republic, Marxist and anarchist workers' movements began to develop, led by figures such as José Miguel Pérez and Guillermo Ascanio. However, outside of a few municipalities, these organizations were a minority and fell easily to nationalist forces during the Spanish Civil War. In 1936, Francisco Franco was appointed General Commandant of the Canaries. He joined the military revolt of 17 July which began the Spanish Civil War. Franco quickly took control of the archipelago, except for a few points of resistance on La Palma and in the town of Vallahermoso, on La Gomera. Though there was never a war in the islands, the post-war suppression of political dissent on the Canaries was most severe. During the Second World War, Winston Churchill prepared plans for the British seizure of the Canary Islands as a naval base, in the event of Gibraltar being invaded from the Spanish mainland. The planned operation was known as Operation Pilgrim. 
opposition to Franco's regime did not begin to organize until the late 1950s, which experienced an upheaval of parties such as the Communist Party of Spain and the formation of various nationalist, leftist parties. Auditorio de Tenerife by Santiago Calatrava, and an icon of contemporary architecture in the Canary Islands, map of the European Union in the world with overseas countries and territories and outermost regions after the death of Franco. There was a pro-independence armed movement based in Algeria, the movement for the independence and self-determination of the Canaries archipelago. In 1968, the Organization of African Unity recognized the Mayoc as a legitimate African independence movement, and declared the Canary Islands as an African territory still under foreign rule. After the establishment of a democratic constitutional monarchy in Spain, Autonomy was granted to the Canaries via a law passed in 1982, with a newly established autonomous devolved government and parliament. In 1983, the first autonomous elections were held. The Spanish Socialist Workers' Party won. In the 2007 elections, the SO gained a plurality of seats, but the Nationalist Canarian Coalition and the Conservative Partido Popular formed a ruling coalition government. At present, the Canary Islands is the only autonomous community in Spain that has two capitals, Santa Cruz de Tenerife and Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, since the Statute of Autonomy of the Canary Islands was created in 1982. The political capital of the archipelago did not exist as such until the 19th century. The first cities founded by the Europeans at the time of the conquest of the Canary Islands in the 15th century were, Telde, San Marcial del Rubicon and Betancuria. These cities boasted the first European institutions present in the archipelago, including Catholic bishoprics. Although, because the period of splendor of these cities developed before the total conquest of the archipelago and its incorporation into the crown of Castile never had a political and real control of the entire Canary archipelago. Overview of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. View of Santa Cruz de Tenerife. The function of a Canarian city with full jurisdiction for the entire archipelago only exists after the conquest of the Canary Islands, although originally de facto. That is, without legal and real meaning and linked to the headquarters of the Canary Islands General Captaincy. Las Palmas de Gran Canaria was the first city that exercised this function. This is because the residence of the Captain General of the Canary Islands was in this city during part of the 16th and 17th centuries. In May 1661, the Captain General of the Canary Islands, Geronimo de Benevente y Quinones, moved the headquarters of the captaincy to the city of San Cristobal de la Laguna on the island of Tenerife. This was due to the fact that this island since the conquest was the most populated, productive and with the highest economic expectations. La Laguna would be considered the de facto capital of the archipelago until the official status of the capital of Canary Islands in the city of Santa Cruz de Tenerife was confirmed. In the 19th century, due in part to the constant controversies and rivalries between the bourgeoisies of San Cristobal de la Laguna and Las Palmas de Gran Canaria for the economic, political and institutional hegemony of the archipelago. Already in 1723, the Captain General of the Canary Islands Lorenzo Fernandez de Villavicencio had moved the headquarters of the General Captaincy of the Canary Islands from San Cristobal de la Laguna to Santa Cruz de Tenerife. This decision continued without pleasing the society of the island of Gran Canaria. It would be after the creation of the province of Canary Islands in November 1833 in which Santa Cruz would become the first fully official capital of the Canary Islands. Santa Cruz de Tenerife would be the capital of the Canary Archipelago until during the government of General Primo de Rivera in 1927 the province of Canary Islands was split in two provinces, Las Palmas with capital in Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. And Santa Cruz de Tenerife with capital in the homonymous city. Finally, with the Statute of Autonomy of the Canary Islands in 1982 and the creation of the Autonomous Community of the Canary Islands. The capital of the archipelago between Las Palmas de Gran Canaria and Santa Cruz de Tenerife is fixed, which is how it remains today. The Canary Islands have a population of 2,153,389 inhabitants, making it the eighth most populous of Spain's autonomous communities. The total area of the archipelago is 7,493 square kilometers, resulting in a population density of 287. 4 inhabitants per square kilometer. The Canarian population includes long-tenured residents and new waves of mainland Spanish immigrants, as well as foreign-born populations. In 2019 the total population was 2,153,389, of which 72.1% were native Canary Islanders. A total of 80. 
6%, or 1,735,457, were born in Spain in 19. 4%, or 417,932, were born outside the country. Of these, the majority are from the Americas, mainly from Venezuela, Cuba and Colombia. There are also almost 40,000 people from Africa, the majority from Morocco. The population of the islands according to the 2019 data are, Basilica of the Virgin of Condelaria and Condelaria. Tenerife The Roman Catholic branch of Christianity has been the majority religion in the archipelago for more than five centuries. Ever since the conquest of the Canary Islands. There are also several other religious communities. Roman Catholic Church The overwhelming majority of native Canarians are Roman Catholic with various smaller foreign-born populations of other Christian beliefs such as Protestants. The appearance of the Virgin of Condelaria was credited with moving the Canary Islands toward Christianity. Two Catholic saints were born in the Canary Islands, Peter of St. Joseph de Batancar and José de Anquieta. Both born on the island of Tenerife, they were respectively missionaries in Guatemala and Brazil. The Canary Islands are divided into two Catholic dioceses, each governed by a bishop, other religions separate from the overwhelming Christian majority are a minority of Muslims. Among the followers of Islam, the Islamic Federation of the Canary Islands exists to represent the Islamic community in the Canary Islands as well as to provide practical support to members of the Islamic community. Other religious faiths represented include Jehovah's Witnesses, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as well as Hinduism. Minority religions are also present such as the Church of the Guanche people which is classified as a neo-pagan native religion. Also present are Buddhism, Judaism, Baha'i, African religion, and Chinese religions. According to Statista in 2019, there are 75. 662 Muslims in Canary Islands. Statistics The distribution of beliefs in 2012 according to the CIS barometer autonomy was as follows, ordered from west to east, the Canary Islands are El Hierro, La Palma, La Gomera, Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, Lanzarote, and La Graciosa. In addition, north of Lanzarote are the islets of Montaña Clara, Alagranza, Roque del Este and Roque del Oeste, belonging to the Chinho Archipelago, and northeast of Fuerteventura is the islet of Lobos. There are also a series of small adjacent rocks in the Canary Islands, the Rocs de Anaga, Garachico and Fasnia in Tenerife, and those of Samar and Bonanza in El Hierro. El Hierro, the westernmost island, covers 268. 71 square kilometers, making it the second smallest of the major islands, and the least populous with 10,798 inhabitants. The whole island was declared reserve of the biosphere in 2000. Its capital is Valverde. Also known as Faro, it was once believed to be the westernmost land in the world. Barranco de Pisanescal, Fuerteventura Fuerteventura, with a surface of 1,660 square kilometers, is the second most extensive island of the archipelago. It has been declared a biosphere reserve by UNESCO. It has a population of 113,275. Being also the most ancient of the islands, it is the one that is more eroded, its highest point is the peak of the Bramble, at a height of 807 meters. Its capital is Puerto del Rosario. View of Fatiga, Gran Canaria Gran Canaria has 846,717 inhabitants. The capital, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, is the most populous city and shares the status of capital of the Canaries with Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Gran Canaria's surface area is 1,560 square kilometers. In center of the island lie the Roque Nublo 1,813 meters and Pico de los Nieves 1,949 meters. In the south of island are the Maspalomas Dunes, these are the biggest tourist attractions. La Gomera has an area of 369. 76 square kilometers and is the second least populous island with 21,136 inhabitants. Geologically it is one of the oldest of the archipelago. The insular capital is San Sebastian de la Gomera. Garajanes National Park is located on the island. Lanzarote is the easternmost island and one of the most ancient of the archipelago and it has shown evidence of recent volcanic activity. It has a surface of 845. 94 square kilometers, and a population of 149,183 inhabitants, including the adjacent islets of the Chinho archipelago. The capital is Arecife, with 56,834 inhabitants. Chinho archipelago The Chinho archipelago includes the islands La Graciosa, Alagranza Montaña Clara, Roque del Este and Roque del Oeste. 
It has a surface of 48 square kilometers, and a population of 658 inhabitants all of them on La Graciosa. With 29 square kilometers, La Graciosa, is the smallest inhabited island of the Canaries, and the major island of the Chinho archipelago. La Palma, with 81,863 inhabitants covering an area of 708. 32 square kilometers, is in its entirety a biosphere reserve. For long it showed no signs of volcanic activity, even though the volcano Teneguia entered into eruption last in 1971. On September 19, 2021, the volcanic Cumbre Vieja on the island erupted. It is the second highest island of the Canaries, with the Roque de los Muchachos at 2,423 meters as its highest point. Santa Cruz de la Palma is its capital. San Cristobal de la Laguna in 1880 Tenerife is, with its area of 2,034 square kilometers, the most extensive island of the Canary Islands. In addition, with 904,713 inhabitants it is the most populated island of the archipelago in Spain. Two of the island's principal cities are located on it, the capital, Santa Cruz de Tenerife and San Cristobal de la Laguna. San Cristobal de la Laguna, the second city of the island is home to the oldest university in the Canary Islands, the University of La Laguna. Teed, with its 3,715 meters is the highest peak of Spain and also a World Heritage Site. Tenerife is the site of the worst air disaster in the history of aviation, in which 583 people were killed in the collision of two Boeing 747s on March 27, 1977. Graciosa Island or commonly La Graciosa is a volcanic island in the Canary Islands of Spain, located 2 kilometers north of the island of Lanzarote across the Strait of El Rio. It was formed by the Canary Hotspot. The island is part of the Chinho Archipelago and the Chinho Archipelago Natural Park. It is administrated by the municipality of Teguise. In 2018 La Graciosa officially became the 8th Canary Island. Before then, La Graciosa had the status of an islet, administratively dependent on the island of Lanzarote. It is the smallest and least populated of the main islands, with a population of about 700 people. The dunes of Maspalomas in Gran Canaria is one of the tourist attractions the economy is based primarily on tourism, which makes up 32% of the GDP. The Canaries receive about 12 million tourists per year. Construction makes up nearly 20% of the GDP and tropical agriculture, primarily bananas and tobacco, are grown for export to Europe and the Americas. Ecologists are concerned that the resources, especially in the more arid islands, are being overexploited but there are still many agricultural resources like tomatoes. Potatoes, onions, cochineal, sugarcane, grapes, vines, dates, oranges, lemons, figs, wheat, barley, maize, apricots, peaches and almonds. Water resources are also being overexploited, due to the high water usage by tourists. Also, some islands overexploit the groundwater. This is done in such degree that, according to European and Spanish legal regulations, the current situation is not acceptable. To address the problems, good governance and a change in the water use paradigm have been proposed. These solutions depend largely on controlling water use and on demand management. As this is administratively difficult and politically unpalatable, most action is currently directed at increasing the public offer of water through import from outside, a decision which is economically, politically and environmentally questionable. To bring in revenue for environmental protection, innovation, training and water sanitation a tourist tax was considered in 2018, along with a doubling of the eco-tax and restrictions on holiday rents in the zones with the greatest pressure of demand. The economy is 25 billion euros. The islands experienced continuous growth during a 20-year period, up until 2001, at a rate of approximately 5% annually. This growth was fueled mainly by huge amounts of foreign direct investment, mostly to develop tourism real estate, and European funds. Since the Canary Islands are labeled Region Objective 1. Additionally, the EU allows the Canary Islands government to offer special tax concessions for investors who incorporate under the Zona a special Canaria regime and create more than five jobs. Spain gave permission in August 2014 for Repsol and its partners to explore oil and natural gas prospects off the Canary Islands, involving an investment of €7. Euros, 5 billion over four years, to commence at the end of 2016. Repsol at the time said the area could ultimately produce 100,000 barrels of oil a day, which would meet 10% of Spain's energy needs. However, 
the analysis of samples obtained did not show the necessary volume nor quality to consider future extraction, and the project was scrapped. Despite currently having very high dependence on fossil fuels, research on the renewable energy potential concluded that a high potential for renewable energy technologies exists on the archipelago. This, in such extent even that a scenario pathway to 100% renewable energy supply by 2050 has been put forward. The Canary Islands have great natural attractions, climate and beaches make the islands a major tourist destination, being visited each year by about 12 million people. And 21% of Germans. Among the islands, Tenerife has the largest number of tourists received annually, followed by Gran Canaria and Lanzarote. The archipelago's principal tourist attraction is the Tiet National Park where the highest mountain in Spain and third largest volcano in the world, receives over 2.8 million visitors annually. The combination of high mountains, proximity to Europe, and clean air has made the Roque de los Muchachos peak a leading location for telescopes like the Gran Tecan. The islands, as an autonomous region of Spain, are in the European Union and the Schengen area. They are in the European Union Customs Union but outside the VAT area, instead of VAT there is a local sales tax which has a general rate of 7%, an increased tax rate of 13.5%, a reduced tax rate of 3% and a zero tax rate for certain basic need products and services. Consequently, some products are subject to additional VAT if being exported from the islands into mainland Spain or the rest of the EU. Canarian time is Western European time. So Canarian time is one hour behind that of mainland Spain and the same as that of the UK, Ireland and mainland Portugal all year round. The number of tourists who visited the Canary Islands had been in 2018 16,150,054 and in the year 2019 15,589,290. The gross domestic product in the Canary Islands in 2015 was 40,923 million euros, 19,222 euros per capita. The figure by islands is as follows, bus station, Estación de Guag was also known as El Hoyo, on the left, out of the image, at San Telmo Park, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria Tenerife Tram The Canary Islands have eight airports altogether. Two of the main ports of Spain, and an extensive network of autopistas and other roads. For a road map see Multimap. Traffic congestion is sometimes a problem in Tenerife and on Gran Canaria. Large ferry boats and fast ferries link most of the islands. Both types can transport large numbers of passengers, cargo, and vehicles. Fast ferries are made of aluminium and powered by modern and efficient diesel engines, while conventional ferries have a steel hull and are powered by heavy oil. Fast ferries travel in excess of 30 knots, conventional ferries travel in excess of 20 knots, but are slower than fast ferries. A typical ferry ride between La Palma and Tenerife may take up to 8 hours or more while a fast ferry takes about 2 and a half hours and between Tenerife and Gran Canaria can be about 1 hour. The largest airport is the Gran Canaria Airport. Tenerife has two airports, Tenerife North Airport and Tenerife South Airport. The island of Tenerife gathers the highest passenger movement of all the Canary Islands through its two airports. The two main islands receive the greatest number of passengers. Tenerife 6,204,499 passengers and Gran Canaria 5,011,176 passengers. The port of Las Palmas is first in freight traffic in the islands, while the port of Santa Cruz de Tenerife is the first fishing port with approximately 7,500 tons of fish caught, according to the Spanish government publication Statistical Yearbook of State Ports. Similarly, it is the second port in Spain as regards ship traffic, only surpassed by the port of Algeciras Bay. The port's facilities include a border inspection post approved by the European Union, which is responsible for inspecting all types of imports from third countries or exports to countries outside the European Economic Area. The port of Los Cristianos has the greatest number of passengers recorded in the Canary Islands, followed by the port of Santa Cruz de Tenerife. The port of Las Palmas is the third port in the islands in passengers and first in number of vehicles transported. The SS America was beached at the Canary Islands on January 18, 1994. However, the ocean liner broke apart after the course of several years and eventually sank beneath the surface. The Tenerife Tram opened in 2007 and is currently the only one in the Canary Islands, traveling between the cities of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and San Cristobal de la Laguna. Three more railway lines are being planned for the Canary Islands, Port of Santa Cruz de la Palma de Servicio Canario de Saludizan. 
autonomous body of administrative nature attached to the ministry responsible for health of the government of the Canary Islands. The majority of the archipelago's hospitals belong to this organization, Canary Island Spurge in Fuerteventura skull of Tenerife giant rat. It was an endemic species that is now extinct. Before the arrival of the Aborigines, the Canary Islands were inhabited by a variety of endemic animals, such as extinct giant lizards, giant tortoises, and Tenerife and Grand Canaria giant rats, among others. Extinct birds known only from Pleistocene and Holocene age bones include the Canary Islands quail, dune shearwater, lava shearwater, treeus greenfinch, slender-billed greenfinch and the long-legged bunting. In addition are some unidentified bird eggshell fragments from the Miocene of Lanzarote, which have been suggested to be from an extinct ratite species. With a range of habitats, the Canary Islands exhibit diverse plant species. The bird life includes European and African species, such as the black-bellied sandgrouse, and a rich variety of endemic taxa including the terrestrial fauna includes geckos, wall lizards, and three endemic species of recently rediscovered and critically endangered giant lizard, the El Yero giant lizard, La Gomera giant lizard, and La Palma giant lizard. Mammals include the Canarian shrew, canary big-eared bat, the Algerian hedgehog and the more recently introduced mouflon. Some endemic mammals, the lava mouse, Tenerife giant rat and Grand Canaria giant rat, are extinct, as are the Canary Islands quail, long-legged bunting. The eastern Canary Islands shif shaf and the giant prehistoric tortoises, Geocolone burchardi and Geocolone vulcanica. A loggerhead sea turtle, by far the most common species of marine turtle in the Canary Islands. The marine life found in the Canary Islands is also varied, being a combination of North Atlantic, Mediterranean and endemic species. In recent years, the increasing popularity of both scuba diving and underwater photography have provided biologists with much new information on the marine life of the islands. Fish species found in the islands include many species of shark, ray, moray eel, bream, jack, grunt, scorpionfish, triggerfish, grouper, goby, and blenny. In addition, there are many invertebrate species, including sponge, jellyfish, anemone, crab, mollusk, sea urchin, starfish, sea cucumber and coral. There are a total of five different species of marine turtle that are sighted periodically in the islands, the most common of these being the endangered loggerhead sea turtle. The other four are the green sea turtle, hawksbill sea turtle, leatherback sea turtle and Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Currently, there are no signs that any of these species breed in the islands, and so those seen in the water are usually migrating. However, it is believed that some of these species may have bred in the islands in the past, and there are records of several sightings of leatherback sea turtle on beaches in Fuerteventura, adding credibility to the theory. Marine mammals include the large varieties of cetaceans including rare and not well-known species. Hooded seals have also been known to be vagrant in the Canary Islands every now and then. The Canary Islands were also formerly home to a population of the rarest pinniped in the world, the Mediterranean monk seal. The Dance of the Dwarves is one of the most important acts of the lustral festivities of the Bajada de la Virgen de las Nieves in Santa Cruz de la Palma. Dancers with typical costume in El Tamadust. Band of Agued in the Trade del Agua. Some holidays of those celebrated in the Canary Islands are international and national, others are regional holidays and others are of insular character. The official day of the autonomous community is Canary Islands Day on 30th of May. The anniversary of the first session of the Parliament of the Canary Islands, based in the city of Santa Cruz de Tenerife, held on May 30, 1983, is commemorated with this day. The common festive calendar throughout the Canary Islands is as follows, in addition, each of the islands has an island festival, in which it is a holiday only on that specific island. These are the festivities of island patron saints of each island. Organized chronologically are, Parade in the Carnival of Santa Cruz de Tenerife. The most famous festivals of the Canary Islands is the Carnival. It is the most famous and international festival of the archipelago. The Carnival is celebrated in all the islands and all its municipalities, perhaps the two busiest are those of the two Canarian capitals. The Carnival of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and the Carnival of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. It is celebrated on the streets between the months of February and March. But the rest of the islands of the archipelago have their carnivals with their own traditions among which stand out, the Festival of the Carneros of El Hierro, the Festival of the Diabolts of Teguise and Lanzarote. Los Indianos de la Palma, 
the Carnival of San Sebastián de la Gomera and the Carnival of Puerto del Rosario in Fuerteventura. Gran Canaria Space Tracking Station In the 1960s, Gran Canaria was selected as the location for one of the 14 ground stations in the manned space flight network to support the NASA space program. Mas Palomas Station, located in the south of the island, took part in a number of space missions including the Apollo 11 moon landings and Skylab. Today it continues to support satellite communications as part of the ESA network. Because of the remote location, a number of astronomical observatories are located in the archipelago, including the Teed Observatory on Tenerife, the Roque de los Muchachos Observatory on La Palma, and the Tamises Astronomical Observatory on Gran Canaria. Tenerife is the home of the Instituto de Astrofisica de Canarias. There is also an Instituto de Bioorganica Antonio González at the University of La Laguna. Also at that university are the Instituto de Linguística Andrés Bello, the Centro de Estudios Medievales. Y Renascentistas, the Instituto Universitario de la Empresa. The Instituto de Derecho Regional, the Instituto Universitario de Ciencias Políticas y Sociales, University. Institute of Political and Social Sciences, and the Instituto de Enfermedades Tropicales. The latter is one of the seven institutions of the Red de Investigación de Centros de Enfermedades Tropicales, located in various parts of Spain. The Instituto Volcanológico de Canarias is based in Tenerife. Heliodoro Rodriguez Lopez Stadium in Tenerife, the stadium with the largest area of field of the Canary Islands. Gran Canaria Stadium, the biggest sports venue of Canary Islands. A unique form of wrestling known as Canarian wrestling has opponents stand in a special area called a torero and try to throw each other to the ground using strength and quick movements. Another sport is the game of the sticks where opponents fence with long sticks. This may have come about from the shepherds of the islands who would challenge each other using their long walking sticks. Furthermore, there is the shepherd's jump. This involves using a long stick to vault over an open area. This sport possibly evolved from the shepherds need to occasionally get over an open area in the hills as they were tending their sheep. The two main football teams in the archipelago are, the CD Tenerife and UD Las Palmas. As of the 2018-2019 season, both Tenerife and Las Palmas play in Liga Adelante. When in the same division, the clubs contest the Canary Islands Derby. There are smaller clubs also playing in the mainland Spanish football league system, most notably UD Lanzarote and CD Laguna, although no other Canarian clubs have played in the top flight. The mountainous terrain of the Canary Islands also caters to the growing popularity of ultra-running and ultra-marathons as host of annual competitive long-distance events including Caja Mar Tenerife Blue Trail on Tenerife, Transvolcania on La Palma, Transgran Canaria on Gran Canaria, and the Half Marathon de Sables on Fuerteventura. A yearly Ironman triathlon has been taking place on Lanzarote since 1992. Canary Islands at Wikipedia's sister projects. Thanks for watching.